Hello and welcome. I'm Anthony Hudson. As to be said, there's plenty of empty seats around. It's a pleasure to welcome Gary Lyon. Thanks, Hutto. Expecting some really special stuff here today. Today we have Port Adelaide coming up against Fremantle. set to run through them. Both four lines are in for a big game. This could be a high-scoring affair. Both sides would want to make the most of their chances inside the Toss of the corner. The Dockers kicking to the right of screen. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. And here we go, it's Port Adelaide taking on Fremantle. He just throws that ball. Lob uses it by foot, the ball ends up going to ground. Goes wide from behind. Considering the options on the kick in, the mark is taken by Burton. Now with a low spearing kick. Just gets it onto the boot. Dug out the loose ball. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. Jonas picks up the loose ball. Rosie just put it on the boot. The loose ball picked up. He's got the football now. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Port Adelaide, same one home. Watts can put through his first. He celebrates hard after that. Puts the first goal on the ball. Center bounce. Law gets it down. Takes possession. Bike releases by hand. With the ball now. Sutcliffe with the intercept. Quick hands, and they could be away here. Just goes back. Collier put himself for free. Decides to kick. An easy grab for Walters. Chooses to play on. He has to hold on to those. Jonas was taken high in the tackle. Gets some distance on the kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Goes with the kick. Clurry with an easy mark. Goes by foot. A strong pack mark. Kick by Tuckley. Rosie leading the race to the loose ball. Going for goal number one. Good man. And looks to send it back. Hamlin goes with the kick. Hurried kick. Gets the handball away. Walters can test the hard ball. Picked off by Watts. Movement by hand. Westall going for number one. The power. Fans getting excited about that one. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. 11 points the difference. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. 
It's great to watch that. Oh, plenty of excitement. Back in the middle. Hammers it. Has it now. Doing well to intercept that kick. Demand one out in the square. Just landed in his back. Ace has resources out wide. Easily takes the mark. Port Adelaide just can't seem to retain possession of the footy. They're getting outmarked all over the ground and as a result find themselves losing this contest. He intercepts the ball well. Finds this one all by himself. Sinks the slipper into it. It's a foot race to get this one. Pierce kicks hurriedly. Hartlick sees off Cox. Got boot to ball. Open opportunity for Burn Jones. Takes the mark all by himself. He gains possession. Jonas cuts it off. Kicks hurriedly. Dixon takes it well. Port Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Scoops up the ball. Finds a target. He gives it a ride. The power finds a way to get that one through. Westhoff love kicking that one. Port Adelaide have three in a row. The margin is 17. Thumps it clear. Hogan coming onto the ground. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. Quickly onto the boot. Well collected. Disguises that muscle and rushes it through. Fremantle close the gap to 16. Searching for a teammate. Nice mark under pressure. Alex to kick. A big contested grab. Knocks up his first touch. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Good body work to win the mark. A spearing kick from Jonas. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Picked up under pressure. Couldn't go on with it. Ball goes out. Ball over the boundary line. Ball back into play. Slapped away. Collected the ball well. Is in his possession. We'll have another ball up. Thrashes it. Mundy onto the ball. Pierce shrugs off the tackle. Well taken at ground level. He gets another possession. Burton throws the ball away. A chance here to convert for Freeman. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. Goes through. Fremantle behind by 15. Weighing up the options now. Over the top of the pack. Port Adelaide have managed to rack up a big number of marks. It's easy to see why they're leading this match. Decides to kick. Rosie has a great set of hands. Puts boot to ball. Just gets a boot to it. Picks up the loose ball, cleanly picked up. Port Adelaide will start it well and lead at quarter time. Port Adelaide would have to be happy with that first turn. Anything to add, Gaz? It's quite simple. Port Adelaide won more of the ball and... The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. We resume hostilities. Clears the contest. Just put it on the boot. Takes a nice mark. Uses it by foot. Slams it under the boot. Looking to kick goal number two. 
A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Watts? That's four in a row for Port Adelaide. The lead is now 21. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Fremantle have been poor going forward today. The opposition are taking plenty of intercept marks and it's hurting them on the scoreboard. Drops the ball. Clean pickup by Modlock. Dishes it off. Watts gives it to the player running past. Smiles all round. Port Adelaide, 527. A great bit of play that resulted in that. That's a really good team goal. We're back in the middle now. West off with a big fist on it. The loose ball scooped up. Just gets it onto the boot. Williams gets on the end of this. 20 metres out. Should be simple from here. Going for goal number one. Williams celebrates with the fans. Port Adelaide have six unanswered goals. 33 points the difference. Has a man running for him. Hacking it out of there. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Collier keeps it moving. Young on the ball. Chose to kick it. The ball ends up with Tabernacle. This shot should be elementary from here. Okay. He might kick a goal. What a kick. And he puts it through. They will continue to keep pushing to get back in this game now. They get around him after that effort. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Thump clear. He's got the football now. A chance to reload the attack now. Uses a short handle. Collects the loose ball. Rushes with the kick. Ryan takes the mark uncontested. Clears the danger for now. Nice hands. Hughes sends one up towards the wing. Demand has it. Goes with the kick. Goes off the ground. Mocklock gives it a ride. A great goal. They stretch their lead with that effort. Get some reward for his efforts. Port Adelaide. Kovic the Dockers by 33. We're back in motion. Port Adelaide aren't making the most of their hitouts. It's going straight to the opposition. Burton unable to lay the tackle. Keeps it moving. Has it now. Matera just gets it onto the boot. The ball finds its way out of play. McCarthy coming off for a spell. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Matera tries his luck at goal. Gets some reward for his efforts. Fremantle trying to work their way back on the scoreboard. Umpire ready to resume play. Punches are clear. Pal Pepper goes off the ground. A free kick to Fremantle. Uses it now. He takes the mark. Moved on by Walters. Good mark there. 50 metres out. Goes for the goals. The margin is 28. Hamling weighing up the options now. Slams it on the boot. Good grab there from Walters. Puts it on the boot. Cleary pushes his opponent off with one hand. Hughes wins the foot race. Cox receives the ball. And the boundary line wins. Dixon now heading off to the bench for a break. The ball is coming back into play. 
punched away. Uses the bump. Slick with the hands. Receives the handball and takes off. Westhoff looking to track down the footy. Kept his head and kicked the goal. Yes, I know. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Port Adelaide starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 49 to 15. Ebert keeps coming. Linking by hand. Takes possession. He lays off the pass. Burgoyne links up with a chance to run. Ryan wins it back. Sutcliffe won himself a free. Moving on. Going for goal number one. It somehow fits over the line. And it's a goal. Sutcliffe enjoying that goal. Port Adelaide have kicked the last two goals. The lead is now 40. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. The Dockers need to find the ball more. If they can get their hands on the ball, then they can start to create some chances. With a driving kick. Watts gets the opportunity, they have a shot for goal. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. You'd expect this one to sail through the middle. He heads for home. The drop part sails between the big sticks. That's number four. This one gives them a bigger lead. He acknowledges the crowd. About to resume hostilities. Pierce got the tap. A clean collect. Giving it off with Darcy. Hogan has the ball. Just a moment. And they continue to miss these opportunities. The Dockers close the gap to 45. Port Adelaide have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Ball off hands. Hit the man hard. That's holding the ball. By hunting with authority. Big tackle. They chase after the loose ball. Hogan just threw it. Moves it by foot. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Contests the hard ball. He takes aim. Ball collected. Going for goal number one. Pierce couldn't be happier with that goal. Fremantle produce the margin. About to resume play. Wins the ruck duel. Here's Ebert. He flicks it over. Slips the handball to Burgoyne. Lysette has a teammate on the move. Here's Walters. Gets a quick kick away. Kicks hurriedly. Matera knows the pressure of the kick. A huge mark there. The Dockers now only trail by... You've seen a half now, Gaz. Your thoughts? Port Adelaide have had a good first half. I think they'd really love to stamp their authority on this contest in the second. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? Fremantle. Well, a big second half about to begin. The game is back underway. One down by Glob. We'll get a stoppage. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Won the hit out. Ball picked up. Pushes through with power. The ball ends up going to ground. Mops up the loose ball. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Law got a fist to it. Looks up with a kick. Burn Jones off the deck. Dixon looking a bit sluggish out there. Law just slaps it down. Gets on the end of this. He's got the footy in his hands. Ends up turning it over. Hartlett hacking it out of there. Off hands, charges with intent. Pierce puts his body on the line, applying the physical pressure. Jonas puts on the tackle and is rewarded. A great defensive effort. Jonas sends one up towards the wing. 
Pierce needs a chance to rest. Just gets it onto the boot. Picked up now. Puts the handball out in front. Well taken at ground level. Putting his skills on display. Goes by hand. They can link up now. He can take off after that handball. Burr going down. Lysette is the body to take that mark. 50 metres from home. Moves the ball by foot. Gets into a good position to take that. 40 metres out. He goes for broke. Paul Adelaide. are happy about that one. Rockley puts them further in front. He's excited about that one. Now they lead by 44. We're back in the middle to resume play. Law thumps it forward. Bike slams it onto the boot. Scoops it up. Just put it on the boot. Clurie will be upset with that. The handball now from Rosie. He's in charge of the ranking points. He's having a fantastic game. Burn Jones, hurried kick. Ace spills it. Sutcliffe brings it out of the pack. Westoff couldn't keep his hands on it. Watts couldn't complete the tackle. Ryan got the hands free. Motlock throws the ball away. Akers moves it now. The mark has been taken. Uses it across half-back. Finds a bit of room to mark. Spent that one before he earned it. He gets above the crowd. Hogan kicks it. Racking up possessions now. Matera, is this the moment? He sums up the situation and delivers. No doubt about it. Our second goal in the bag. Fremantle badly needed that one. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. He did really well there and gets the reward. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Picked off by Rockliffe. Penetrating handball. Power Pepper quickly onto the boot. Bikes had his sights on the goals. An ideal position to be kicking from. Move it on. He likes his chances from here. Sends it home. That's his first. This lead getting bigger now. He celebrates hard after that. The margin is 44. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. This is how they can score, Big Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. Port Adelaide are conceding more inside 50s at the moment. The difference is when they go forward, they're converting more of their chances, and that sees them on top. Ball up in the centre square. This game is out of hand and could go downhill even further. Looks to move it by foot. Boat just gets a boot to it. A chance to soccer it and kicks the goal. Williams with that kick has increased the lead. Congratulated by his teammates. Back with another centre bounce. Law hurls it away. Power Pepper has the ball. Ebert coming on. Umpire calls for the ball. Swats it. He gains possession. Somehow got the handball away. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Ends up turning this ball over. Goes by foot. A race for the loose ball. Put his body on the line. Releases the handball. Watts links with a teammate who can run with the ball now. Manages to get a hand away. He gets his hands on the footy. Thank you, Robert. Tap came from Claw. Gathered by Hamling. He wins possession. Handball finds Matera. Demand collects it. He has the ball. The ball mopped up. They can create from this. Bit too casual with the tackle. Hits the target by hand. It'll be a ball up. Taps it down. 
Takes possession. Rosie puts the handball out in front. It's cut off by two man. Does well to cut off the kick. Cuts the kick in ball. Law picks it up. Fights the good fight. Punches the kick. Burgoyne dug it out. Well collected. He drives it. Cox marks in a bit of space. Lining up for goal. 35 metres out. Wouldn't want to miss these opportunities. Going for goal number one. And the chance at goal is taken by Freeman. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Cox. Fremantle will produce the margin. As we go into the final change, the scores are Port Adelaide 79, Fremantle 35. A big final term coming up. Port Adelaide walk into three-quarter time with the lead and the confidence they can win this game. Plenty of scoring opportunities in the third term. It'll be interesting to see which team can cap. Any thoughts from you, Gaz? Fremantle are winning the clearances, but they haven't been effective and they haven't turned them into scoring opportunities. Much appreciated, Gaz. Let's see what this last quarter throws up. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Law won the duel. He's got the football now. Gives a don't argue. Gets the handball away. Walters will be the recipient of the free. With a driving kick. Hogan with the mark. Chose to kick it. Power Pepper determined to reach the ball. Takes a simple grab. The kick from Hartlett. Finds himself in space and marks. Port Adelaide for allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Collier does well to mark. Might be too far out to score. A desperately needed goal here. Strong mark in the contest. Works the ball out of the 50. Going for goal number two. No one from there to behind. Fremantle close the gap to 43. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Plays on. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Intercepted by McCarthy. Or oh, someone's on the ground. Gaz, what does it look like to you? Oh, it look good, huh? It's hard to see him coming back on. Fremantle now only trailed by 42. Burton marks uncontested. Moves it by fourth. Mott Mott marks it. Channels a long kick. He looks like he needs a spell. Stands tall and marks. Looks up with a kick. Great mark under pressure. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Burton leaps over the top. Port Adelaide could allow him too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Jonas puts it on the boot. Cleary marks uncontested. Ball stripped in the tackle. Handballs. Turned it over. Burton flicks it over. Fails to fend off the tackler. Fantastic pressure there. Opportunity for Pierce is in his possession. Picked off the deck. Intervening brilliantly was Motlop. Just manufactures what he could. Tabernak knows they desperately need this one. Can he deliver? He loved that one. Fremantle have kicked back-to-back -back goals. Going to be tough to get back in this one, but there is time. Hacking it out of there. Mark will be paid. Decides to kick. He wins the ball in the air. Port Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. It just gets the journey, and it's a goal. Banfield.
puts them back in contention after that goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Back in the middle. Thump by Glob. Handball's under pressure. Gets it away. Quickly onto the boot. Nobody can hold on here. The ball spills to Hogan. Got the hands free. This kid to get some help along. They'll have to really roll the dice here to have any chance. Plays onto himself. Drives it out of defence in 50. Wins the race to the ball. Ball gets cut off. Just releases the ball. Lob read it best. Missed the target. Outstanding pressure. Just gave it away. The handball hits the target. Hogan is getting the ball again and again. 20 metres out. Tabernak with the shot. Sees the opportunity and was able to take it. Put through his third goal. Smiles all round. We're back in motion. Thumps it clear. Mundy controlled it well off the bounce. Great attack on the ball carrier. Cleary goes by hand. Marks now and can send it back. Hamling drives the kick. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, huh? Takes an uncontested mark. Puts it on the boot. And the ball trickles over the line. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Blakely decides to soccer it. Pierce heads onto the ground. Punched away. Has it now. Rockley brushes off the tackle. Bird Jones missed an opportunity to mark. Now we've got a ball up. Swatson. Rosie just too high with the tackle. Kicks to the square. The contest, no match for him. Of course, Hunter. Demand elects to kick. Bounces over the line. Thrown in now. Winning it was Pierce. Both soccer's a kick. Gets the loose ball. Mundy releases the ball. He gets his hands on the footy. He decides to go for home. Fight loves that goal. Really putting the pressure on here. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. The power are controlling the position and they're using that control to hit the scoreboard. Linking by hand. Pierce kicks in heavy traffic. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Fremantle came out second best in that matchup. Gaz, what did you think of today's game? It's not the prettiest win you'll see, but they managed to get the job done. Cheers, Gaz. We are the Final scores are 79 to 62. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon. Well, thanks for having me. That's all we have time for. We'll see you next time.